Hey guys, welcome back to Freedom Homestead. I'm Tangie and I have another weekly grocery haul for you guys today. Today I came under budget. Uh, I went to three different stores. I went to Meyer, Aldi, and our salvage store. Uh, for those of you who are new here, for my family of four, we have a grocery budget of $50 a week. And like I said, I came under budget this week. So let me turn you around and show you what I got. I remembered to take a picture for my thumbnail, but I forgot to pan over the haul. This is what my haul looks like, and it was under $50. Okay, so we're going to start right here. Meyer was having a 10 for 10 sale. They had this John Morrell um, smoked sausage for a dollar a piece, so we got five of them. Since we don't have a tax on food here in Kentucky, my total was $5. Okay, for my Aldi haul, we'll start back here. I got some hazelnut creamer. You guys know that I love this stuff. That was $1.79. I got two rolls of paper towels, 49 cents each. I got cans of chicken noodle soup at 49 cents each. I got a container of sour cream for 99 cents. This pure cane sugar was $1.45. I didn't get the kind that I normally get. I just grabbed this. Um, this package of ham was $3.19. This block of cream cheese was 79 cents. These packs of ranch dressing was 49 cents. I bought two. This three pound bag of red delicious apples was $2.99. This pack of buns was 85 cents. This head of lettuce was 85 cents. You guys, eggs went down. They are 88 cents a dozen. Woohoo! And then uh, I got this gallon of milk for 98 cents, which brought my total at Aldi oh yeah, to $18.64. And here is my salvage store haul. We'll start right here. Um, this was the only flour tortillas that they had. They were 50 cents, so I bought one package. Parker asked for these fig bars. Actually, they're strawberry bars. They were 75 cents each, so I got two. I got these uh, two jugs of, or I'm sorry, I got these two jars of this Rinaldi um, pasta sauce. They were a dollar each, so I got two. I really like the Jiffy Pie Crust Mix. They make a really quick um, chicken pot pie. So I got two of the pie crust at 30 cents each. I uh, got two of the muffin mixes, uh, the apple cinnamon muffin mixes at 30 cents each, and I got two of the blueberry mix mixes for 30 cents each. This Ken's Ranch dressing was 50 cents. This Kingsford Smoke Hickory Barbecue was 75 cents. This G JFG mayonnaise is $1. This Miracle Whip is $1. I got these um, chocolate pudding mixes, 35 cents each. They had uh, these organic toaster pastries for 90 cents. I got two, one in a bunch of blueberries and the other one in cherry pomegranate. Bag of self-rising flour was 95 cents. This is something I don't normally buy, but you guys, I'm not gonna lie. Since we are coming into a very busy season of life with our move and we still have softball going on, I saw these for $1.25, these Hungry Jack Instant Mashed Potatoes, and I got them. They had this bag of sour cream and onion potato chips for 75 cents. They also had these tortilla chips for 75 cents. I bought two bags, and that's what I normally get. They had these sugar wafers for 75 cents. As you can see, we've already been in them. It's been a long day. Um, these Nature Valley Backpacker Chews were 90 cents. Of course, I got my box of tea for $1.75. Uh, they had M&M's, the share size for 40 cents. She rang it up for 30 cents. And I'm saving my favorite haul for last right here. They had these Kashi Goline cereals for 75 cents and I got four of them. So that is my salvage store haul and all of that came to, whoop, if it'll focus. $22.70. So with all of those together, I came in at $46.34, bringing me $3.66 under budget. I didn't realize I was that under budget. If I had realized that, I certainly would have used that money. Um, I probably would have got some like tomato sauce or, or something like that to add to my haul. But you know, hey, that's still pretty good. Um, 
I can probably tack it on to next Okay, week. so let's look at the breakdown and see what I saved. If you're new here, what I do is I take what I spent and I look at how much the items would have been if I had bought them at regular price according to walmart.com or amazon.com just to see what my savings are. So here you can see I have the regular price and over here I have what I paid. Down here you see that I should have paid $66.74. I paid $21.95 plus tax. I saved $44.79. So for the month, uh, as of right now, my grocery totals come to $98.85. My savings come to $111.26. Not too bad. So with all of this in the mix, what are we gonna have for supper this week? Okay, so a quick and easy meal for us is going to be bangers and mash. I'm going to throw an iCard up in the corner where I've made it before. Um, it's not down to the T, the traditional bangers and mash, but it's our take on it, the Americanized version. Um, we will also have crock pot barbecue chicken, which is what the buns are for. We'll have that, maybe some, um, I've got some, sp that Annie spiral uh, pasta and probably some veggies. We have uh, carrots and celery to go with it. Um, another night we'll do potato soup and cornbread, which might be tonight because hubby is under the weather. Um, we didn't eat Hoppin' John last week, so that'll be a carryover meal for this week. We'll also have deer roast with potatoes and carrots. Um, we may also do sausage and potatoes with green beans later in the week. And I also have the fixings for jambalaya, so we might do that one day. Um, but that is what I've got written down and planned. So some, most of these are either quick throw together meals or slow cooker meals, um, which you will be seeing a lot of <laughs> in, the, in the coming uh, days. So that is all I've got for that. Um, I also want to remind you that for the month of May, we are working on, for Frugal Family Food, um, how to plan for a low spend month while staying in budget. And uh, I've been busy and I've not been able to get some of the things out that I've been wanting to get out, but I'm gonna try to work on that for you guys. But in the meantime, if you are not part of Frugal Family Food, please be sure to check us out. Links are in the description box below to our group and our page on Facebook. You can also find us on Instagram. And last but not least, speaking of Frugal Family Food, for the month of May, we are doing all things coffee. And this week we have me. <laughs> and I've got planned for you guys. I don't know if I, do I want to share with you? Yes, I'll share with you because I'm also keeping in mind Mother's Day is this weekend. I'm going to be showing you how to make cranberry almond biscotti dipped in white chocolate. So stay tuned for that video coming up in the morning. So um, hopefully you guys will enjoy that and it'll be a recipe. You should, you'll be surprised how easy it actually is to put together. Um, but I'm going to be using all salvage store ingredients so that's pretty cool all right so that's all i've got for you guys today i hope you enjoyed this haul as always until next time so much for stopping by freedom homestead here we're about living off the land being together as a family we homeschool our two children we talk to you about our gardening adventures how we preserve our own food and build our food storage we live on a tight budget and we share with you our grocery hauls i will even break out the cleaners and show you how i clean my house so whether we're sharing with you our life, our love of liberty, or our love for each other, thanks so much for stopping by and please consider subscribing.